little more snail than I would normally use on a card because we're going to be cutting this and we don't want any of the pieces to come flying up while we're cutting it. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, that's step one is to get that put down. And I'm going to just take the large end here and I'm going to go score at three and three and three quarters. Okay, very simple. You can see on the back, maybe. I don't know if you can tell. I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to bring in my big shot and I have it on tab two and I'm going to put um, I guess this is the second to the largest of the sizzlet dies and I'm going to line it up kind of in the center between these two let's see it's easier to see on the back side than on the um, pattern paper side. Then I'm going to bring in, oops, sorry for that noise, um, one of the plates. And I'm going to kind of slide it in from this side. And I'm going to bring it up over just to the first score line. And I've found that by going in this way, I have a lot less shifting and a much more accurate cut. So, and it's real easy to get it started too, because it's kind of already under there. Okay, and that's all I need to do is that little bit of cutting there. Then I'm going to bring it through the other side, and it's kind of caught here, so I don't have to worry about it shifting very much. And then I'm going to bring this plate in from the other side. Oh, I'll slide it out a little more. I'm going to slide it under again to the score line. I hope you can see that well enough. And I want to just line it up with my score line again. I'm going to Get it started and through. I can get that out of the way. When I lift that away, you'll see it's cut through to the score lines. And that's what okay. So, it gives us a really fun flip-flop card. And then to finish it off, I'm going to need um, one label that is the size that we use to cut out the center. And that one's going to go right in here. And I'll stamp so that whatever I stamp is centered in this kind of new oval shape. I'm not going to worry about what's over here. So I want to kind of get it stamped in there. And then I'll flip it over. When it's open, it's going to have all the designer series paper. And I'm just going to center a smaller oval here. That that I have. Um, it's double mounted. We don't do them double mounted but stamping up anymore. But this stamp um, was double mounted when it came out. And um, maybe it still will is, you know, in the next catalog that's about to come out, but it's going to be available and clear. So I know that's really exciting for some of my customers. So I've um, inked that guy up and I'm just going to put this down. 
and some of this is going to show through some of it's not but I just it's going to be fine um and then I need my um what I do um going to do um praying for you so it's going to be a gut ball card and I'm going to um, use my stamp on the jig because I really only have one shot to get this right and I want it to be nice and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and make one image on here and I want it to be um, in this bottom corner so that when the card is open the way it's going to be shown, it'll show. And I don't need this here anymore. So I'm going to get that out of the way. And I'm going to do that. So now I have my card front. It's going to be like this. I'm just going to take a little bit of ribbon and tie that on. This is a uh, Riding Hood Red. 3 8 inch tap with a ribbon. And it's a pretty simple little card. Hopefully you cheer up somebody's day who's not feeling well. Sorry, I had to grab my uh, beautiful ribbon scissors here. I'm stamping up. I make my ribbon cut so pretty. Get that out of the way. And then <clears throat> my second piece is going to go right there. And on that. I'm going to do my hair, wishing you a quick and complete recovery. I'm going to be real daring here and go ahead and not use my stamp in my jig. See if I'm sorry. Oh, not too bad. And I'll put some more of these little pretty flowers. Um, And I can flip this guy around and put some more in that corner and some more in this corner. This is all just the same stamp. I'm just kind of dancing it around. Make it look kind of cute. I'm not going to pop anything up because I think this card has enough going on without anything being popped up or anything like that. I think I'm just going to go like this. So here we have our card. Boom. Boom. Very fun. Okay. So there we survived our first video. So stop back again another time for Power TV. Thanks.